In this video, we'll take a look at the equation for RBCl plus H2O. This is rubidium chloride plus water. So we'll take solid rubidium chloride, that's a solid, and put it in liquid water. We want to know what the equation is. Rubidium is a metal and chlorine is a nonmetal, so this is an ionic compound, and often these are soluble in water, but we should check. So if we look at our solubility rules here, we see first rule, group one elements like rubidium here are soluble. So if we have salts of rubidium, they're going to be soluble in water. So since rubidium is in group one, it forms one plus ions. Then for chlorine, that forms ions that are one minus. So we could put Rb plus, and then we'd have our Cl minus. So this would, would dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Since they're dissolved in water, let's put Aq for aqueous after each one of these. And this is the equation for RbCl plus H2O. Sometimes you'll see water written above the arrow. And sometimes you'll even see water written after the arrow here with the products. Since we've already written aqueous, saying that these are dissolved in water, I don't usually write water in the products. That's the equation for RbCl plus H2O. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.